now going to show you some options in your phone to allow you to customize the ringing and other features. Press the home key. Go over to screens and sounds. You can press OK or select. We'll do OK. The brightness control changes how bright you want your screen. Whatever looks best in the lighting conditions that you currently have. Press save. Another thing that people like to change, contrast doesn't do that much, but personal ringing, this changes the sound of the ringer. It's just basically different patterns. And no, we cannot load different personalized music as, as ringtones, like a cell phone. But we can do this. It'd be a slightly different cadence or frequency of the tones. And once you find something you like, press save. Okay, so now when somebody calls you, it's going to ring a little bit differently. What that does, it allows you in a situation where you have a lot of desks close to each other, that a particular pattern ringer could denote that it's your phone and you can rush back to your cubicle or desk and get that versus somebody else's tone that might be more basic. Another thing we like to look at is the screens and sounds. There's something called button clicks. When that is on, every time you press a button, you hear, some people believe it's an annoying clicking sound. We'll turn it on to show you what it means. There you go. Those are the button clicks. Normally people do not like to hear those. We get home, we, we press home to get to our main screen. So to turn those button clicks off, see that kind of sound? To turn those off, we go back into the home screen once again, go to screens and sounds, then go down to button clicks and use the back and forth arrow to turn it off and then save. Now the clicks are not in there anymore. If you notice, your screen has two columns to allow you to have eight buttons at any given time. If you don't really use the eight buttons that much, and you don't mind scrolling to get to the other functions, like this, there's a way to set up your phone so it has only four lines of display, which allows you to see more information when a call comes in. For example, if someone were to call you right now, you can see the whole thing, which is fine. But in an outside call, with the caller name and ID and everything, you only get a partial uh, name that comes in. So the way you fix that is you go to Features, Phone User, scroll down a little bit more, and you'll see Phone Screen Settings. Press OK, Display Mode, select that, and change it to Single Column, and then Save. Now all of a sudden we have a much wider uh, real estate on the screen to see different things that are happening but you note that you can only have four buttons at a time that are showing up. These buttons will no longer come into play. But if you hit the next key, there they are, if you need them. So now, when a call comes in, you have much more screen space to see the complete caller name and ID.